Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The end of the three day seminar. Usually there are hundreds of you together in a room, and it's time to celebrate, to say goodbye, to think about those you've met, to understand perhaps the synchronicities that have occurred while you're in that place, that auditorium, that ballroom. But today's different, isn't it? In your own homes, you watch this, even though there may be hundreds of you. You didn't really see each other eyeball to eyeball. You really didn't get a chance to shake the hand of the one next to you or give them a hug. Something has happened on this planet and we need your help. This is your time. The mature old soul will understand exactly what I'm asking for. It's time for compassionate action. There's been a lot of goodbyes. A lot of goodbyes. In these last weeks, dear ones, some of you know of them, some of you don't. Some of you are used to seeing perhaps that which you call sports, and you can imagine stadiums filled with humanity, 70,000 or more humanity. Now double and triple that number. And that's the ones who are gone. Those are the ones who were lost in these last weeks. Now, every single one of those has family around them. Who right now need you to help them say goodbye. You see, old soul, old mature, old soul, it's time to practice compassionate action. This is an energy which will back up on itself. And the more you pour it to those who need it that you don't know, and you don't know their names, the more you pour it to them, the more it reflects back to you. And in that, dear ones, your life starts to be affected. This is a process. Some have even given it a name, a process where as you give compassion, it actually doubles in those things around you and it's felt around you and the things around you start to straighten up because you pour it out your heart and pour it out that which is you to people you don't know all over the globe in this worldwide emergency. There are so many who are hurting right now, really hurting. And they don't know what to do or where to turn. And they're not part of this meeting and they'd never pick up a crying book. And that's not to say they even should. It's the compassionate action of the one who will light the match in the dark room. And these who are suffering now will start to feel you in some way. In many languages all over the planet, they may wake up one day and say to their partners around them, they'll say, you know, today I feel a little better about the loss. Today I feel I can, I can move forward better about the loss. That inappropriate death, the one that was before its time because of these things that are happening on the earth today, I can't make sense of it, but somehow, some way, I feel that there's been help from above. And that help from above has been you. That is above. That is a higher vibration of you pouring out to them. Not empathy, not feeling sorry, but mature compassion of peace. Put yourself 
in a place where you are more peaceful than you've ever been in your life, where you stand tall in maturity and have the peace that passes all understanding and you send it to them, not because you're sorry for them, not because you're empathic and you're crying for them, because you're a bastion of strength on the planet that is peaceful and you can broadcast it to the masses. That's who you are. Oh, soul, maturity is yours. This is new. This is how the few affect the many in such a positive way, in such a compassionate way, in such a world-changing way. Worldwide channeling retreat. Worldwide. Now you know why it's been called that way. Because it's you. To have an effect on those who need you right now. Right now. As those who have passed away continue to leave a trail of grief and goodbyes. Let this not be forgotten this day. These things that I say. Because these things are needed for you to do every single morning or night. If you can think about it. If you can remember these words. Perhaps to take just a moment. And take a breath and send mature peace. There are those who would doubt this does anything. There are always those who would doubt this does anything. Until someday the research will be solid. Right now it's solid. Those who are measuring the field, measuring compassion, measuring coherence say, look, 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 the charts show something. Consciousness seems to be energy and you can send it because it's multidimensional. They'd be right. Still, there will be naysayers. And those naysayers are not old souls. Not yet. They will be someday. As they graduate with what you know. That what you do here right now can change lives and give solace and peace to those who will never know your name. Who will never know the person who lit the match in the dark room and helped them to see something they never saw before. A way around the grief. A way where they can see the sun come up. A way where they'll know that they can laugh tomorrow or the next day when maybe they don't really even think they can right now. That's what you do. That's who you are. And that's who, what we're, we're asking you to do. Even as this meeting comes to a close with all the teaching, with all the channeling, with all the self-help that has been here, right now, as we close, we are saying to you, this is the task at hand, O oh mature one, O oh sender of peace, O oh one who understands so much more than I can even say right now. Do these things because you know you're a piece of God and can make a difference to those who need you right now. Let the sun come up tomorrow for them like it'll come up for you. And they'll see the light and know there's hope that they can get through this grief. There are so many. There are so many. This is the time for this, and I'll say it again. This is why you came. Maybe for this day. This is why you're here. Maybe for this day. So you can shine a light that no one can ever say you didn't have. You have it. Doing this will help connect you. There are those who have asked, well, how do I get connection? How do I do this? How do I do that? By giving all these things to the planet, to others, you wipe away the barriers for yourself. Are you getting this? That's the tool of the new energy. Compassionate action changes everything around you, and especially those who you send it to. 
Thank you, dear ones. Thank you, dear ones. Thank you, dear ones, for being here, for being so magnificent, for listening to us, for listening to us. In a venue that some would say is ridiculous and stupid and eye-rolling, you know a difference is here. It's real. Life-changing. It holds no agenda. No one is asking you to join anything or do anything or be anything other than a magnificent human being who is willing to help others right now in trouble. That's not an agenda. And so I close with that idea. There will be many more who will channel. And there will be many meetings like this. But right now, on this planet, this date, the 16th of April, we need you, all of you. Let the few affect the many on this planet in a way that you will know about and they will know about. And maybe in the future there'll be some head scratching to say, I don't know what helped me turn the corner, but I know somebody was praying for me. Something happened to me, and I came through it. And you will smile and know it was you. That's the power you have right now. Never has there been a time on the planet where you were all together in something like this. So let that coherence of thought propel you into the knowledge that what you do now will be carried on the field right now to those who need it. That's the process of compassionate action. Oh, graduates of love, I leave you to it. You are the ones who can make a difference on this planet right now for so many who need it. We congratulate you. We love you. We are always here to continue loving you. There is no goodbye here. There is no goodbye here. And so it is. And so it is. <laughs>